What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is a video you all have been asking for and all have been waiting for. We are going to talk about how I lost the weight, how I leaned out. I actually don't know how much weight I lost whenever I moved to Florida. I left my scale in California with my ex and I just never bought a new one. Um, so I'm not sure how much I lost, but the pictures do me justice. There is proof that I have lost weight. Everyone can see it. I can feel it. My face is different. Everything is different. My energy is up. So we're going to talk about it. I'm actually going to break this video up into two parts. I know that everybody wants it to be like some quick, easy thing and me be like, eat this, don't eat this, do this workout. And then that'd be the answer, but that's not how it fucking works. So we're going to break it up into two parts. This first part is going to be basically everything but diet. And then I'm going to go into diet in the second video. So first of all, I just want to make a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not, I have a degree in nutrition, but I'm not a licensed nutritionist. I'm not, like nothing, nothing. Okay. So this is what works for me. I am just sharing my experience. Consult with your doctor first. And without further ado, here we go. So the first thing that is really important that I want to touch on is what I've done for the last seven years. Um, it's not like I just like never worked out and never ate healthy or anything. And I just like woke up one day and I made these changes and then I was like a hot ass bitch. That is not what happened. I've been weight training for, I don't even know, seven or eight years now, like maybe longer. I am not going to sit here and do math, but I've been doing this for a long fucking time. And even before that, I was always active. I was a cheerleader. I've never been like super overweight, nothing like that. Um... So, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I did body bodybuilding style training for a really long period of time um, with like, you know, some hit and other things mixed in here and there just because I enjoy different types of physical activity. But until I would call it the last two years, my main focus was maybe last year, year and a half. My main focus was bodybuilding building style training. So that's like the classic, if you guys know, like push pull legs. I was always trying to train with progressive overload, lifting heavier, trying to glow, grow the glutes, the shoulders, everything. I, I wanted to be a fit bitch. Okay. So that was the goal. Um, we would sprinkle in cardio when we needed it. Um, I used to track macros like way back in the day. Um, I haven't been doing that for a while just because for me mentally it's no bueno. Um, I overthink things and it, I just become a head case. So I haven't personally tracked macros for a long time there. I've like popped in here and there, like used it just to check up on myself and see where I was at. But I personally have been tracking macros for a while. I still don't track macros. I would say that the way that I was eating prior to this big change that I made was eat whatever you want, just in moderation. I, you know, try to eat mainly healthy, you know, lean proteins, rice, uh, sweet potatoes, um, veggies, fruits, things like that for a long time. And then, you know, I'd sprinkle in the fun stuff. Um, whenever I was doing my bodybuilding style training, I was eating, you know, donuts and, and pop tarts and whatever else, like back in the day before workouts. And I was doing all of the classic bodybuilder things. Um, and it worked for a while because I was super fucking active. I was a personal trainer. I was a waitress, even when I did pharmaceutical sales. I was in and out of hospitals all the time. I was on top of that working out and just like I was just really active and I was younger and it, it worked for me just fine. I could basically eat whatever I wanted. Then as I became more self-employed, the less I cut back, like I stopped waitressing eventually and then I stopped training or like as a coach and I was getting older and I just could not <laughs> keep things the same as I used to. I also hit a point where I decided that I wanted to lose a little bit of muscle, just personal preference, what I wanted to look like. So for, I would say the last two years, I kind of struggled um, and had like sort of like an identity crisis because, you know, I wanted to look a different way. Like for all this time, it was put on more muscle, put on more muscle while trying to stay lean or whatever it was. And I would do books and I would do cuts. And so then I, all of a sudden I was like, why well, don't want to do that anymore. So I hit a like a while where I would just try, I basically was just trying a bunch of different things. I was just continuing to try and like do smaller portions, just trying to be cleaner and things like that with my diet. And I would lose a little bit of weight and then it would come back. And I just felt like I was constantly yo-yoing. And so that was just a whole situation. I think I went through that for about two years, um, probably around, around like right before when COVID hit, God, is that three years now? Is whenever I first was like, I'm gonna lose some muscle. Um, COVID hit, the gym's closed. We all know what happened there with everyone. So I stayed active throughout it. Um, I said I was gonna run, I said I was gonna do this, whatever. Okay, I don't want this to be 900 years long. The point is, is I've been active for a long time. 
I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted, then I couldn't anymore, and my goals changed, and I kind of had like a rough patch of a few years. Then I moved to Florida. So two things happened whenever I moved here. One, my stress levels came down a lot. Not initially, um, but eventually my stress levels came down a lot. And there was like a lot of stress with the business and different things like that when I lived in California. Once I came here, things kind of dissipated a little bit. So stress levels going down definitely added to not only like the weight loss, but just me like having fun in the gym and me like not like stress eating and everything else. Um, and then two, I decided that I was going to focus on health instead. My entire life, I was so worried about what I looked like. I was training for aesthetics, eating for aesthetics, whatever else. I would like sort of eat and sort of do things like fuel my body. But for the most part, goal was aesthetics. On the drive to Florida from California, I started listening to the Skinny Confidential uh, podcast. And they have a lot of experts in the health and nutrition field on there. And I just started to become obsessed. And I was just like, and I was listening to the Glucose Goddess. And just like all of it, Dr. I think it's Mark Hyman or Heyman, I forget. I just started listening to a bunch of podcasts that were focused around health. And not health just in the sense of like losing weight, but health and like how do you become your most optimal self? Like I am an entrepreneur. I want to be able to use my brain in its most optimal way to, you know, become as successful as I can be. I want my body to be fucking prime so I can be like incredible up into like my later stages in life. Hopefully at some point in the next 10 years, I will birth children. I want my body to be ready for that. Like I just started paying attention to health. Um, and so that's when I started making these like little micro changes. I was focusing on not spiking my blood sugar. I was focusing on, you know, nutrients and this and that, and we'll get into the diet changes later. But, um, that became my focus and that allowed me to have this mindset shift. And so as I started to like make a little bit of progress because I was just like had healthier habits, I was also working on my mental health as far as what I looked like. So I was being nicer to myself, self-love, complimenting myself, all of these things. And therefore I was feeling better in the gym and I could perform better. And it was just like, it was just a snowball effect. I just started taking care of my mental health and my physical health and everything fell into place. So the mindset shift is the main thing that has helped me lose the weight and keep it off. I used to be so obsessed with food, like fucking 24 seven, like wake up thinking about what's for breakfast. And then as I'm making breakfast, thinking about what's for lunch, like I was just set, my mind was centered around food all the fucking time. It was a miserable way to live. Like you like see those memes where people are like, so, so, and so like, just like forgot to get eat. Like that was never me. I was like, how are people like that? Nowadays, sometimes I forget to eat because I'm just not as obsessed with it as I used to be. And I've helped regulate my blood sugar better. And now I don't get cravings like I used to. So like I said, we'll talk about all that, but the mindset shift is what helped me lose the weight, continue to lose the weight and actually keep it off versus just putting it right back on and yo-yoing like I was before. So now that we all are on the same page, we all recognize I've been working at this for years. This isn't just like a body that came out of nowhere. And I like fixed my entire mindset around all of this. Now we're going to talk about the training. So if you guys have been following me along or following along, you know that I also started to experience some hip issues. I had some muscle imbalances. I had a really weak core. My hip flexors were super weak. And therefore it was just causing like a lot of imbalances and a lot of fucking pain. I had back pain. I had shooting pain down my legs. Like I was getting sciatica at some points, like just like, all of these things going on with my body and like then like my traps started getting really fucking tight and it was just like this whole thing and so that was part of also the reason why i decided i wanted to cut back on lifting a little bit was because i just felt like i had just beat my body down so much from just like constantly training over training probably not giving myself enough recovery um not stretching enough and just like Focus like some people can just train all the time and go hard and like barely prioritize recovery and they're fine. But I am not one of those people as I have come to learn. So that is part of where the first start of my shift came in my training changes was my body was just genuinely fucked up. Plus, like I said, I wanted to lose some muscle. And then I also just wanted to become like more balanced and like well-rounded in what I was doing. And I kind of just was like itching for like something different. Like I moved here, it's like a whole fresh new start. All the TikTok pictures are po posting about Pilates. Like I knew my core was weak. I know Pilates is great for your core. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. So I did shift um, how I trained a lot, but this is why I wanted to talk about what I've done for years because 
I already had a really good muscle base. So me now doing like mainly Pilates and like this and that, if you don't have any muscle and you just go right into Pilates, you're probably not gonna have similar results to me because I already have this base of muscle. So that's why I wanted to make sure I touched on all of that first. So my new training split is different every week, but just like, not because I'm purposely mixing it up, but just because now I'm just doing what feels good. And I'm focusing on just like what I'm craving. So roughly, whenever I say what I do every week, this is like a rough split of mine. So I do class pass. That way that I can do a little bit of Pilates, a little bit of yoga. If I feel like doing spin class that week, if I want to do Barry's boot camp, like whatever I want to do, I can mix it up. So, but for the most part, I have one day per week where it is a glute focused day. It's weights pushing the weight. I'm not going like crazy heavy like I used to. I also work out at my apartment gym, so we don't even have like a bunch of heavy weights even if I wanted to do them. Um, but we do have some. So um, going as heavy as I can for a lot of stuff, just really like a glute focused leg day. And then I also add in some things to balance it out. Um, for so long, I was just like training my posterior chain for legs and like never hitting quads. And then I like fucked up the form of my squat and that was also causing a lot of imbalances. So I make sure I hit a little bit of quads too, just to stay balanced and just keep everything pain free. Um, so one day is like a glute day. And then I try to do one day that's like some type of hit. Now, sometimes this is taking a class. Sometimes this is while I'm doing that leg day, adding in jumping jacks, burpees, like squat the press, like whatever it is in between. So it just kind of depends what my week looks like as a whole. Um, and then I try to do one day Pilates and one day of yoga when I can. Like I said, it's a class pass, so I only have so many credits. So sometimes if I have to pick one or the other, I usually pick Pilates. Um, but I just enjoy it. Like I said, I'm trying to work my core strength. I actually really want to get more into yoga. I'm trying to do some on my own, up in my bedroom and all that. But um, so roughly it's a leg day, a Pilates day, and a yoga day. And then I also try to either like the run or the hit. So I go out for a run. And then other than that, it's hawker walks or whatever else I'm feeling like. Even on days when I'm doing that stuff, I am getting cardio in most days just because like it's good for your heart health. So after legs, I actually have been running sometimes because it just helps me not be so sore the next day. Um, sometimes after Pilates, I'll come back and run um, or go on a walk or I'll work out in the morning and then go on a walk later in the day. So I'm staying really active. Um, I really only worry about training five days a week, but then a lot of times on Sunday, I'm going on walks anyway. Like it's fucking gorgeous here. Why would I not? It's hot as ball. So I'm like dripping sweat, basically in a sauna while I'm walking. Um, and I just enjoy being outside. So I really try to stay active as possible. I would say I, to, like I wouldn't even say I have like a rest day. It's usually active recovery, but also I just like live my life. Like Saturday, if I wanna like go up and go to the beach, and then like go drinking with my friends, like who cares? I'm not worried about that I didn't get my workout in. So it's not like anything like super structured and I'm getting rest because a lot of my stuff is low intensity. So even if I'm going on a walk, it might only be like a three mile walk that's like not very intense for me. So I wouldn't call it a rest day because my workout is my walk, but I guess it's kind of like active recovery, some people will call it, whatever. So that is what I'm doing for now. Um, and then I just mix it up. If some days I'm like, screw it, I want to do a little upper body, then I do a little bit of upper body, you know? Um, and I just kind of am focusing on what feels good. Um, also been training, I usually train in the mornings, I've been mixing it up and training in the evenings now, which I oddly like slash afternoon. And just overall, I'm just really listening to my body and I'm just trying to be, like I said, well-rounded and I'm focusing on stuff that's going to help me other than working on the booty because I just am not interested in having flat ass. Um, my butt is part of my identity and I need to keep that way. Um, other than that, I'm just like doing things for longevity. Like I'm doing yoga because it helps me with my flexibility, helps me with my mental health. I'm doing, it's hot yoga usually, so I'm sweating my dick off, which is really good for you. Um, I swear a lot. I'm doing Pilates because it helps with my core. It helps with my hips. I had weak hips. It's getting all those like little tiny muscles in. So I know a lot of girls are doing Pilates on TikTok, Pilates because it's like the hot girl thing to do. And like, yes, I do enjoy that aspect of it but I'm genuinely doing it to help with like my muscle imbalances and all of that. So I want to like just pound that in because I'm doing these things because they are like healthy for me. They are helping me put myself in a position where I'm going to have longevity. I'm going to be good for years to come. I'm not going to be in fucking pain every time I want to play with my kids in the future or, but also I don't want to lose too much weight because I don't want to fucking like fall down the driveway when I'm like 75 and break a hip. So I'm focusing on longevity, health, keeping some of my strength, 
Those are all of the focuses. One thing to note though, is I do get cardio in like almost every day. And whenever I say cardio, it's even just like a walk. And whenever I can remember to do so, I try to do my walk where I'm only breathing through my nose. I'll be honest, I forget the science behind it, but it's good for you getting your heart rate up. Not a really slow walk, like getting the pace up a little bit. Or for some people that have good endurance, maybe it's a light jog for you and breathing through the nose. Um, I always breathe through my mouth when I run because I lip sync the entire time. Um, but focusing on cardio for heart health, and then obviously it has translated into my body that I now have. So that is it for the mindset shift, the training regimen, all of that. I'm going to cut it off here because I want it to be digestible and I want you guys to actually listen to it and attempt to apply it to your life instead of just being like, this is what Bree's going to do. I'm going to copy every little thing. Put in the work, do the research, figure out, like, like listen to podcasts or read books or whatever it is. Like, make sure it's a reputable source, but do the things that you can understand why you're doing it so you can implement it into your life in a way that's going to stick with you. I'm telling you, if you keep chasing like a physical, just like hot body goal, for me anyway, it just, it wasn't, I didn't care enough. Like I was like, well, I'm not fat. So I was like, whatever. Like I'm, I'm good enough looking. I'm still like, not like, you know, I'm not like to be rude, like bottom of the barrel. I was like, oh, I'm good enough, you know? So whenever that was my mindset, it was really hard to shift things. But now like even on weekends, I go to restaurants. I'm like, I don't even care about getting a burger before I used to crave shit all the time. I used to have something sweet after every meal. I don't have to do that anymore. Like not like not by choice. I just don't even care. I'm full. I feel good. I my energy is on fucking point. So hopefully you guys can start to do some work. Uh, learn on your own. Highly recommend this getting confidential podcast. That is all I have for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment whatever questions you have, and I will answer in part two when we talk about my diet. Bye.